Hey y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the brand new Desert Monsoon collection that's available from What's Up Beauty. I'll go ahead and link that storefront down below. These products were sent to me for review and it consists of six brand new nail polish shades, which I'm really excited to share with you, as well as some makeup brushes and a new eyeshadow compact. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. First off, the packaging is amazing. It has lots of little details like the cap there. Really impressed with the quality. So first up is the gold of the collection. And this is Sun, and she is described as a gold foil with duochrome shimmer. So you can see how smoothly it glides there on the nail. One of the most amazing things that I'm most excited about from these polishes is that beautiful brush. It makes for perfect three or maybe even one swipe application if you have not as broad nails. Really impressed with that. The formula is easy to work with, it goes on super smooth. This one is a little bit sheer, so I did go ahead and go in for three coats. However, it's a little bit too dense for me to be a topper but I love how it looks on the nail just on its own this one does also have a matching eyeshadow which is super pretty so there's a look at that completed mani at just three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting so next up is Desert Rose, and she is described as a light pink crelly with gold flakies running throughout. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, this seems like a very unassuming polish, but it is my top pick of the collection. It's just so wearable and fun, very flattering. It didn't wash me out at all. You can see there, it's almost my perfect nude with a little bit of pink thrown in and plus that gold sparkle to add a little bit of party on the nails. I think you can get away with wearing this if you need like nude nails or very work appropriate nails. Love this polish. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath my artificial ring lighting. So next up is Tempest and she is described as a mauve cream. Now this cream polish is completely a one coat wonder, no issues going in. I didn't have any pooling or staining. It goes exactly where I put it and is a full coverage in just one coat. So What's Up Nails has really taken their time and done a great job with these formulas. Here is a look at that completed mini. I just one coat underneath my artificial ring lighting. It does dry down fairly glossy, but I do recommend going in with one coat of your favorite glossy top coat just to extend that wear time. And this is my final swatch photo. So next up is Joshua Tree and this is a another beautiful cream so this is described as a light brown cream it does tend to have a little bit of gray tones in there very wearable perfect nude shade so here's the look at how Joshua Tree swatched today for me on my natural nail this is another just one coat easy perfect cream I have no complaints about these polishes whatsoever they are a joy to use so here's a look at that completed mini at just one coat before a glossy top coat underneath my artificial ring lighting and that is my final swatch photo so next up we have Downpour and she is so beautiful in the bottle. So she's described as a blue foil with a duochrome shimmer. So you can see that purple kind of popping out at different angles. I really like how this is kind of in a micro flake formula. It goes on really easy and smooth. This first coat is a little bit sheer. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this coat, let it dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a quick second coat. So two coats is going to deepen that finish and it does bring it completely opaque. This one you're going to get mostly blue, but that purple is going to flash out at different angles under different lighting sources. Very beautiful. So here is a look at that completed mani. I just a two coats before a glossy top coat underneath my artificial ring lighting. And rounding out the collection today, I have a succulent and she is described as a purple crelly with a duochrome of flakies within. So here is a look at that first coat. This is the sheerest polish of the collection. It is definitely described as a crelly and that is for sure true representation of the formula. But that one coat goes on easy and smooth. You can see that scattering of flakies across the nail already. Two coats is going to build up that finish. This is one that's going to really depend on your application method if you need two or three coats. Um, on my pointer nail, I could see a little bit of visible nail line, so I did go ahead and opt to go in for a quick third coat on that nail. But here's a look at that completed mani at just two coats and sometimes three before a glossy top coat. So that rounds up my look of the nail polish shades. Really excited for What's Up Nails to be coming out with just regular nail polish. I think they did a fabulous job. The quality is definitely on point. So next I wanna move on to the eyeshadow palette. And this is coming from What's Up Beauty. It's kind of a sister brand or a branch off that they've done. And I am very intrigued that some of the eyeshadow shades will match the nail polish shades of the same name. I can't wait to show you. So to begin with, the packaging is beautiful, very nice. It's matte, it's glossy, it has a magnetic closure as well, which I definitely appreciate. So here is a quick look. So we have five new creamy mattes that includes Dust Storm, Canyon, Tempest, Joshua Tree, and Thunder, as well as one duochrome foil, which is Sun, three duochrome metallics, which 
which is downpour, succulent, desert rose, one sparkle metallic, which is humidity, and two satins in cactus and glow. The quality on these is amazing. Very creamy, very pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick look at how these swatch today for me on my forearm. So all of those is just with one swipe, very pigmented. I love the glitters for sure. They are also releasing six brand new eyeshadow brushes to go along with the eyeshadow palette. So these are gorgeously weighted eyeshadow brushes. They are made with natural goat hair, which is known for its ability to pick up powders. They are super soft, very dense. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and show you what they look like. But I wanna go ahead and mention again that the packaging is on point. These are packaged beautifully. They're each in their own little, um, like foam bed inside those boxes so you're not gonna have any damage in shipping or anything like that so here's a look at the range they do range from brush let's see I think it's yeah R101 all the way to R106 so R101 is a pencil eyeshadow brush two is a crease blending eyeshadow brush three is a blending eyeshadow brush four is a fluffy blending eyeshadow brush five is a tapered blending eyeshadow brush and six is a flat shader eyeshadow brush i'm gonna go ahead and show you this is number four the fluffy and it is so true to the name very densely packed i want to give you a closer look at the goat hairs as well as that aluminum ferrule that's really going to keep all of those hairs in place very very soft very great at blending i do have a, a like a slight eyeshadow look to share at the very end i tried recording it and that is not my forte so i'm going to show you just what the end result looks like i'm also really loving this flat shader brush i think especially with the matte eyeshadows i could really get in there and do a really easy eyeliner look with those so here's a quick look at what my eyeshadow ended up looking like i used tempest in the crease with some joshua tree and thunder down on my lid and then finished it off with a little bit of glow and sun. I did have a little bit of fallout, but I really love how pigmented these are and how easy that look ended up being. So that's all I have for today. If you'd like to see more, you can also follow me on Instagram at Sloppy Swatches. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.